Good day, everyone. This is Chris with The Ancient Scholar. Today, we're going to be uh, talking about genetic uh, disorders. And uh, prior to talking about some of the genetic disorders, and I will try to uh, keep this more, more specific toward the, the, the respiratory therapy, and obviously, this can go in quite a bit of depth, and I'm not going to go into the detail that you would have gone into in anatomy and physiology, but I just want to get everyone on the same page. Okay, so... First of all, what, what is what is the uh, ge the genetic material in in human cells? Well, it's DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, it contains a genetic uh, information, and basically, what it does is it has pairs of molecules: um, adenine, thymine, guanine, uh, cytosol, um, and they have different pairs. And uh, DNA is double stranded. And it, it is actually twisted into a, what's called alpha helix structure. So what I've done is I've just drawn a little strand of DNA here. And then I've just drawn little pairs there. And that's what holds it together. And we know that we can, during um, cell division, we can split the DNA. We can copy it and read it. Uh, also happens uh, when we talk about making messenger RNA earlier on. Um, actually reading, reading that and making a copy of it. And um, that's what DNA is. Now, a, um, if I take a, a, a distinct portion of DNA, and that, that portion has a certain uh, code in it, uh, instructions to, to do something, maybe instructions to say I have blue eyes, or to say that my, you can see my, my lower earlobe is attached, you know, that, that you know, all these things, the color of my hair, my, my sex, you know, I'm a male, um, all of these things are determined by genes. So let's just say that this particular strand of DNA is a set of instructions for me, my blue eyes. So we'll just say that this is blue eyes. Okay. So this chunk of it here, the chunk of DNA, is what we call a gene. A gene. Okay. Okay, so fair enough. Well, so we have the DNA, we have chunks of DNA, they're genes, and then what, what happens is the, the DNA is kind of packaged up real nice and tightly in these little packages. In these packages of DNA, obviously there's lots and lots of it, but it, we kind of ravel it up and pack it up all nicely in these little packages, and these packages are what are called chromosomes. Chromosomes, and we package genes in chromosomes. Humans have 23 pair, pairs of, of chromosomes uh, for a total of uh, 46. So you get 23 from mom, 23 from dad is, is generally how it works for a total of 46 chromosomes. Well, that's nice uh, that we have two pair of them because there's kind of a backup. If something were to happen, theoretically, um, to, to, to one chromosome, maybe the other, hopefully the other chromosome, uh, would have uh, uh, would say there's a mutation or something um, like that damage virus bacteria radiation all the things that we've talked about um, hopefully the other one would be able to code for whatever 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 was damaged there um, <clears throat> one pair of those 23 pairs what we call the sex chromosomes and these are generally what we call the X and the Y and so I just happen to have an X and a Y here and that determines our sex. Um, so we call the X, and so any diseases um, that are X, that are, are sex uh, genetic linked to sex, to, to you know, uh, if I'm male or female, um, those diseases that are coded in the genes that exist in these these chromosomes X or Y, we will call those um, sex linked uh, chromosome diseases, and that's why because the gene that codes for that specific disease, whatever it may be, is uh, packaged inside of an X or Y, depending on you know, if you're male or female in the sex chromosomes. Um, all of the other chromosomes that are not sex chromosomes, that don't basically are sex is determined by genes in these chromosomes, um, all the other ones uh, where, where sex isn't determined, what we do is we call those autosomal chromosomes. So we have our sex chromosomes. That's just one pair out of the 23 pair. Um, all the rest of them, the 22 pair of them, are what we call autosomal chromosomes, and they determine the rest of a body makeup. 
So when we talk about a uh, sex-linked uh, genetic disease, we're talking about these specific chromosomes. And when we're talking, and you hear the term an autosomal uh, disease, we're talking about the other 22 pair uh, of chromosomes. So, for example, a disease, um, Down syndrome, is sometimes called trisomy 21 or T21. Well, where do you think that comes from? And now it should be pretty obvious that, oh, we're talking about the 21st uh, uh, chromosome, chromosome number 21, uh, which is an autosomal, um, which is an, is an autosomal chromosome. Okay, so that's just kind of the, the basic introduction to uh, the DNA, to uh, what genes are, and ultimately what chromosomes are. And I think we're good there if we have that, that basic, <clears throat> excuse me, the basic intuition. Okay, talking about disease and analyzing diseases and that, there's some additional terminology I want to talk about. I talked about, excuse me, morbidity and mortality, mortality earlier on. A couple more words I want to throw at you guys, and these are, um, uh, the, the first word is incidence. We talk about the incidence of a disease. It's the, the frequency of the disease occurring. And generally, what we'll say is uh, uh, one in three people will have this disease, or one in four people, or uh, one out of every two people have this. When you hear those statistics being thrown around, that is the incidence. Now, the incidence is um, a little different from something called the prevalence. So, incidence is the frequency of the disease occurring, basically. One in two, one in three, one in four people will have this in their lifetime, what have you. That's talking about the incidence. The prevalence of a disease is the number of cases of disease exist in a certain population. So um, you may hear something like uh, 10,000 patients in the United States have this disease, or uh, two, 2 million patients around the world have this disease. That's the, the prevalence, talking about number of cases when compared to an entire population. Incidence is just um, basically um, <clears throat> the frequency of it occurring. One and two, one and three, one and four. So there's a difference, but it's subtle. Um, you guys should be good on mortality and morbidity. Um, lots of different risk factors. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the, the common familial uh, diseases and some of the risk factors. And this is just some more terminology. So there's a term known as autosomal recessive. So we know what autosome means, right? Because those are the chromosomes that are not sex or uh, chromosomes. They're the, the, the chromosomes, the autosomes that make up the rest of the body. Okay. Well, what's this word um, recessive mean? Well, first of all, they're inherited, right? We get our um, chromosomes from mom and dad, so it's inherited. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is, before I get real deep into this, I'll cut it off here, and then I'll start a new on a new video, and we can talk about um, autosomal recessive versus autosomal dominant, just because it, it, it's going to take a few minutes. And uh, um, you guys can take a little break um, or hit the next video. Uh, take care, guys.